Tony Owens uh, started with Communities and Schools back in, well, let me take that back, started with Exodus back in 1991. Uh, started out, uh, I met Joyce Stafford back in 1991, started out as a, a program coordinator at Southside uh, High School. And moved from there, uh, met Dave Lewis and uh, started traveling with the Exodus players and thought that was like, the best job in the world because I didn't do any work. I just traveled with them and I monitored and watched them while they did the things that he needed to do. I think the most exciting trip was for um, President Bill Clinton to get on the bus and ride with us. He was a governor at the time and we gave him an EP jacket and for him just to ride to our performances and also Sidney Poitier and um, me and one of my two closest friends actually singing for Michael Jackson. That was another just tremendous. It goes on and on performing. Um, for Jack Rogers, he was the CEO of Equifax at the time, and I knew nothing. It was my first time actually going into a corporate building. And that day, I said in my mind, I'm going to work. I want to work in a corporate building. Wow. A mentor, uh, an example, uh, an inspiration, a leader a teacher, an activist, because he didn't sit back and watch things happen. He wanted to see what he needed to do to make things happen. Dave Lewis was a person that, for me, actually uh, embodied what it is to work with young people because he took them from where they were and took them to where he think they should be. He was always willing to work with whoever the young person was, regardless of who they were, what their situation was, what the circumstances were. He was always willing to give everybody a chance, so for me, that was a great example and it taught me that regardless of what your what your own preconceived notions about a person are, you gotta put those aside and give that person a chance based on what the possibilities for that person are. So for, for me. Lewis in the back. Look at Mr. Lewis. Ah, oh, just gritty. Hey, Afro. He kept that Afro forever. When I met Dave Lewis, I don't remember exactly when I met him. But I can tell you, I remember him changing my life. Uh, Dave Lewis truly is one of the greatest people I've ever known. He has had the greatest impact on my trajectory, on uh, the direction that I chose to take, the path that I chose to take. Before Dave Lewis, I know I would not be here today. Uh, I, I like to say in terms of how the program impacted me, this was the first time in my uh, life that I've been around, I like to say, first of all, two men, but then the staff were people who genuinely did not judge me from where I came from and then all the things that I had done. And the entire school was, well, at that time, I'd say some people would have labeled us as misfits. And what I mean by that, how it changed us, everybody at the school that I was in, for the most part that I remember, had been teen mothers, uh, the guys have been in and out of the juvenile justice system, uh, in and out of jail, uh, hustling, just doing nothing with their lives. And yet we had no metal detectors, but I don't recall ever having one fight in the two years that I was at uh, Street Academy T because of the environment was, they made us, you know, we thought that maybe we had some things going on with our lives in terms, but we didn't show it based on our actions. But they made us not only think that we, that we were smart, it made us realize, and they were all about our talents as opposed to judging us. So.